So before I get started, I want to just throw a quick mention to a fairly prolific guide online which is commonly referred to as Mike's Jacobo Guide. It's a wonderful, thorough and concisely written walkthrough of the whole process I'm about to show you. Link in the description in case you'd rather use that guide. That said, the majority of what I'm going to show you will just be how I personally do it. Mike's way is very to the letter and mine is just how I've done it since I was a kid. So with that all said and out of the way, let's get started. When it's best to start doing this? Arguably just after you get Cloud back on disc 2. You can buy the stables, gather your materials and get going from here and that's fine, just be aware it will cost you. Where I prefer to start off from is at the beginning of disc 3, immediately after the return to Midgar mission. The reason for this is because of a certain material you can get while you're there, which is called the W item material. You have to go a fair amount back through these tunnels after the Turks fight to find it, but trust me, it's worth it. If you either can't be bothered to go find it or you already went past it, no worries, you can dig it up at the excavation site near the City of the Ancients. There's an important reason you'll want this material that I'll touch on when it becomes more relevant. For now though, you'll need to buy the Jacobo Stables. You could do this on disc 2 ahead of time if you like, but it will cost you 60,000 gil, so make sure you have that to hand. Once you've got the stables set up, you'll need to get hold of a few resources, and to get those you'll need to steal. We're looking for Carib and Zeo Nuts. Zeo Nuts? Z Zeo? Zio? Z I think I'm pronouncing it right. The Zeo Nut can be found pretty easily on this little island to the northeast, which is called the Goblin Island. The goblins here will have the Zeo Nut, and you'll only need to get one of these. For the Carib Nut, you'll want to find these red dragon looking enemies who are on the southern grassy point of the northern continent. I'll show it on screen in case that wasn't descriptive enough. You'll want to get your hands on about three Carib Nuts. The last thing you'll need are Silka Screens, which can be bought from the Jacobo Sage who lives in this little cottage on the northern continent. You'll know you've found the right place because it's the only house with grass that you can land the high wind on. When you talk to the Sage, you'll only want to buy one Silka Screen, and this is where the W item material comes into play. Equip the material on whoever you like, sort the silk screen to the top of your item list, and get into any fight and watch the magic happen. So if you're not familiar with this glitch, it's present in all versions of the game, and it's easy. All you have to do is select W item, select the item you want to duplicate, then select another item, but then press the cancel button when it goes to select who you want to use it on and repeat those last two steps. Select the second item, then cancel, do this until you have enough silk screens. Now you're ready to hunt for Chocobos. By now, you should have the Jacobo Lure material, you know, the thing you used to get past the Megazolum on disc 1. I'm going to wager and say you didn't level it at all since then, and that's fine, most people don't. But it's going to make your life easier if you level it up to at least 3 stars, because that will double the chances of finding Jacobos. Also, the effect is stackable. If you master your Jacobo Lure and get another one, level that one to 3 stars as well, and the chances will be doubled again. I found this out by watching one of 4x8 Productions videos, and it changed my life. You'll basically never not be finding Jacobos. So which ones do you need? It's a good question with a good, great, and wonderful answer. Just, uh, pause for effect to let that one sink in. You're gonna need good, great, and wonderful Jacobos, basically. So you're probably wondering where these Jacobos can be found. Well, I have the answers for you. It turns out it's not as random as some of us assumed back in 97. You'll want to find them in certain places with certain monsters. To get the good Jacobo, you'll want the tracks out by the gold saucer, and you'll want to find the Jacobo with these enemies, these weird looking fish ones. That will guarantee you a good one. For the great, look no further than the Medeal tracks, and you'll want to find them roaming around with these pillbug looking guys. And as for the wonderful Jacobos, they'll be palling around with these little rabbits in the Icicle Inn area. You'll need the good and great ones to be opposite genders from one another because they're your initial breeding pair. Plenty of guides swear that the genders make a difference in what colour Jacobo you'll get, but in all the 20 years I've been playing this game I can't say I've ever really noticed it making a difference. Also, pay attention to what gender your wonderful Jacobo is because that will inform what gender you'll need the black one to be. So you've got these wonderful feather friends all caught, gendered and moved in, what now? Well, you need to feed them. When I was a kid, I would just shovel silk screens right into them, but that's wasteful and needless. There are apparently certain amounts you should be feeding them depending on the type of Jacobo, but to be safe and to make extra certain, I just feed them all 20 each. If you need more, just use a W item glitch again. Once they're fed, you need to raise their ranks by racing them at the Gold Saucer. There are supposedly maximum ranks per Jacobo type, but again, I just want to be extra sure and leave no room for error, so I personally just rank them all up to S. In the beginning, this process will be a bit of a slog, but stick with it, it legitimately only gets easier the more you do it. Once you're done with that, you should have three s rank Jacobos and you're finally ready to breed. To start with, you want to go outside and save. This will be important when you inevitably end up soft resetting. This section is based a little too much on luck of the draw, but thankfully I can tell you that unlike the PC version, soft resetting totally works on the PS4 version of the game. Depending on your luck, you might end up with a green, blue, or regular Jacobo. If you get a regular one, soft reset. If you get any of the other ones, Good job, you're doing well. So once you've bred two Jacobos, they won't be able to breed again for a little while. 
You'll need to wait a while, and as is weirdly common in Final Fantasy games, waiting means getting into fights. You'll have to get into a few fights to move the Jacobo's biological clocks forward. I'd say get into about three or four, then check in, and if they're still not ready, try three or four more, and then repeat until they're good to go again. So once you've got the right genders for your blue and green birds, you'll need to feed them and then train them up in the ranks. So just do what you did before with the previous lot. Once you've got that covered, you'll need to breed the green and blue together. Chances are they probably won't be ready to go yet, since they were only born a little while ago, and their siblings, but just get into more fights and eventually they'll figure it out. At this point, you could probably just release the good and great Jacobos. they've done their part honestly, and you should spare them having to watch their children breed. It's the absolute least you could do, you monster. Breed them with a carob nut, and hopefully you'll end up with a black Jacobo. Make sure it's the opposite gender of the previously caught wonderful one. Save and Sofra set are definitely your friends on this one. Once you've got the desired gender for your abomination against the natural order, feed it greens, take it racing, tell no one how you came to get it, Live with your sins. Take them to the grave and beyond. Oh God. Be sure to get into a bunch of fights before going back to the stable, just to make sure your black Jacobo is ready to breed, and then breed it with the wonderful Jacobo you prepared earlier. This time, you'll be needing the Zeo nut, and with luck, and probably too much soft for a setting, you'll finally have a gold Jacobo and a new trophy. So as a little bonus, here's a few locations you can get to with the gold Jacobo. Next is Around Island, which will also net you a new trophy the HP MP Materia Cave, the Quadra Magic Cave, the Mime Materia Cave, Lucretia's Cavern, literally anywhere. So yeah, that was the guide, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I'm going to mention that I did link to Mike's written guide in the description, so if you think you'll have a better time following that, I definitely suggest giving it a read, it's very well put together. Beyond that, just leave a like or a comment if this helped you, or if you have anything else to add. You could subscribe, I make videos every so often, you know, like, like these ones, like, the, like this ones right here. Pretty good videos. I mean, I like them. I, I made them, but I, I, I like them. A any anyway, bye.